The Ukrainian people are being attacked from the air, from artillery, from ground troops and tanks. The debris of this war litters every street. But the government has warned for days of Russian saboteurs who have infiltrated the country to bring terror. Death squads who are attacking civilians in their cars as they flee. They do exist, as we found out. Oh, that's a bullet. That was a bullet. No, it wasn't a bullet. It wasn't. Something blew up under us. Something went bang. Oh, oh, oh there's a big yeah, hole. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh. Whoa! We think it's a Ukrainian Please, checkpoint and a mistake, British! so we identify ourselves. British journalists! 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 Can anyone. You all right, Steve? Is everyone okay? You okay, Dom? Somehow we have to get out of this, but the rounds keep coming. It's a professional ambush. The bullets just don't miss. Whoa! Where should I go? Shall I call, can we call down the embankment? Oh, Andre! Whoa! 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 I'm hit, but escape the car, and with producer Dominic van Heerden, we make our way down the embankment. Where are Camera operator Richie Mockler has taken two rounds to his body armour, but is still stuck in the car. He runs for it, in a hail of bullets. The five of us have made it out of the car, down the embankment, and we just can't believe we're alive. Let's go through there, behind that wall. Go on in. We run into a warehouse unit looking for cover. Go. Three caretakers beckon us inside. Yeah. Yeah. I see and we're like, is that a rain? And they didn't see that. Producer Martin Val starts coordinating a rescue plan with Sky Staff. We know any rescue will take hours. We're stuck, fighting outside. We've no idea what's going on. We've got ourselves into a garage, somehow we found our way in. There's three guys working here and they've said we can stay, but there's a lot of firing going on outside. Um, we don't know why. It appears to be a battle and shooting. After a mammoth logistical effort, we were rescued by the local police. We were lucky. Thousands of Ukrainians are not. And every day, this war gets worse here. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Kiev.